Hey friends, I'm headed to the Finding Dory screening and I thought it'd be really fun if you came along for the ride. Uh, there's a lot of traffic, but I was only supposed to go 16 miles. I've made it a few and I think the total trip is gonna take an hour and a half. Gotta love LA on a Friday night. Just parked, waiting for the elevator. Oh, it just got here. All right, and then Jamie and Elsie are on their way. Where am I going, PL? This is so cool. Oh, look, inking and painting. How cool is that? Nothing could ever ruin what we have here. Me My wristband. Matches my outfit. Thanks so much for coming along to the screening and the after party for Finding Dory on the Disney lot. We had such a great time. The movie is so adorable and I highly recommend it, especially if you liked Finding Nemo. I think you'll love Finding Dory. So I'm just printing these photos off on my Fujifilm Instax share printer through my phone wirelessly so that I can document it in my traveler's notebook. I want to print out two photos because I was obsessed with meeting Jif Palm, the cutest little puppy. I mean, I don't even know if it could be possible, but even cuter in person than in pictures. So I'm just printing this one off as well. It makes it really easy to document adventures using this printer. Oh, and look, I got another cute phone case. It's a Kate Spade flamingo one, and it's really rubbery and fun. Not as cute as Jif Palm, but pretty darn cute. So here is where you turn off the printer. I only have one film left in this pack, but it's easy peasy. Now I'm gonna grab my supplies. I've gathered a bunch of pieces that just appeal to me for various reasons, whether it be color or the thumbs up. Here's a pack of Dear Lizzie die cuts and I wanna use the word cool. I just think that as you're creating, you don't necessarily have to go buy new stuff. Sure, getting new stuff is very fun, which is definitely part of the reason I subscribe to these messy kits from A Beautiful Mess, but I think that it's really important to use what you have. These two cards are from my Project Life kit and then I kept this Pirate's Booty wrapper and also the box from the toy that we got and I'll have a giveaway for you guys below so stay tuned for that I am cutting the front of the wrapper and I think that this is kind of silly to keep but I love that they had it branded for Finding Dory I need to figure out which part of this box I'm going to keep and we just loved the sea otters you guys they are so cute I mean wait till you see the movie they're just adorable so I am figuring out what I want to keep and how I want this laid out. Please tell me I'm not the only crazy person who keeps stuff. Oh my gosh, there's crumbs on the back, so I had to clean those off. Um, but yeah, I just love keeping memorabilia. I don't know why. I think that part of the reason I love documenting in these traveler's notebooks is it gives me a place for all the stuff that I end up keeping that piles up and I don't get to it. And then I feel guilty, which scrapbooking and documenting your life shouldn't make you feel guilty. It should make you feel good. So that's part of the reason I love doing these field trips with you guys and then coming back 
into the studio to make something together. This was a few days after the actual event because the event was on a Friday night. And then I ended up coming back to the studio, uh, not over the weekend, but during the week. And I figured that I should probably just get this down in my book, especially before the movie comes out. And I'm just figuring out ways to piece it together and I want to use this washi tape so I can make this pirate's booty a flap. It's almost like an extra page in the book so I can hide the journaling. Not that I'm going to journal anything uh, <laughs> that I don't want anybody to see. It's just extra room for me to put stuff. And I don't know why these pages are just so perfect for me lately. Uh, as much as I love scrapbooking 12 by 12 pages, I've found that I have a lot of scrapbook pages just stacked up and I think it will accumulate into tons of albums and I'm not sure if it's worth taking up that much space for all the things that we end up doing. So I'm just evaluating, reevaluating the way I document things. This little strip of washi tape looks perfect and I want to save this little bit so I'm going to hang it out over here. And this glue pen is great for this cool die cut, but what I'm realizing is that as I'm trying to press it down, I'm not sure it will stick on the washi tape very well. So I'm gonna grab my favorite gold stapler from American Crafts. This is from their DIY shop line, and it has mini gold staples in it. You can get the refills. I've linked everything below. This is the... Uh, OMG that I want to put on top. It's a post-it note flag, but I just want to reinforce it. And look, this little bit of washi tape goes right on Jif Pump's card so I can still flip it up. Next, I want to go ahead and stamp the date. And then I've got this cute little anchor from Waffle Flower and their new ink. And I want to position it somewhere over here. The problem with stamping sometimes in the Midori Traveler's Notebooks, uh, this is actually one that I made um, with my paper and 60 pound regular copy paper inside. Ooh, that turned out great. And I'm just gonna wipe it with this Lawn Fawn chamois. I'm trying to be good about cleaning my stamps, you guys, but sometimes I just don't do it. I don't really know why. I think it's just because I'm a creature of habit and I used to be really messy as a kid, but I'm trying to be a little bit more of a neat freak and I'm not sure if it's working. But anyway, so what I was saying earlier about stamping, sometimes working with these little books, you have things underneath it so it doesn't give you a fine impression because it's kind of bumpy. I don't stress about that anymore. I just go for it and then if it messes up, I can cover it up. This is my favorite gel pen right now for journaling. I don't even know if it's gel, but it's linked below. Somebody on Instagram recommended it and I just love it. And I keep one everywhere. So I just bought a big box. So I have one whenever I need it. And I wanted to just encourage you guys to do what works for you when it comes to this kind of documentation. There's no wrong way to do it. I think that everybody's got their own style. Everybody's got their own level of guilt that they feel if they do do it or if they don't do it or if they spend too much time doing it. Whatever works for you guys, I just encourage you to go out and experience fun things and then document them in whatever way works for you. I personally just don't want a bunch of scrapbook pages, like a big collection of scrapbook pages piling up, which is why these little notebooks work for me right now. So I think that no matter what's working for you. I just encourage you to take your stuff and you know look at it in a different way and keep random wrappers if it makes you happy. And uh, yeah, have fun with your supplies. You don't have to have the latest and greatest. You can always use your stash. I know you guys have a lot of stuff. Speaking of, I might add to it too because one lucky winner is going to get one of these figurines. So I've already opened it because they had them at the event already opened um, because they labeled it on the outside which character it was. And I grabbed this one. I wasn't sure if I should show you or not. But I do want to give it away. So if you subscribe to this channel, that'd be great. And I just want you to leave a comment below telling me something that makes you happy or something that you found out about yourself recently. In the spirit of Finding Dory, I think that I've learned so much through this YouTube journey and I'm so grateful for all of you for following along and for commenting and really just lifting my spirits. 
and having so much fun when we take these field trips, when we craft together. I've gotten great comments on my vlogs and my travel vlogs, and I really appreciate it. So give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and I will see you soon. Good luck. Bye.